Belgrave. Piper. Patmore with a header on. Hills resisting the challenge of Lindegaard. Murphy. Now Belgrave. Lovely touch from Lindegaard this time to Way. Little ball for Crittenden. Two players in to block him initially, but he's through now! to their old tricks again, Yeovil, the cup giant killing specialists. Crittenden forcing his way through and scoring the opening goal after they've had to absorb so much pressure in the first half. Well, Steve McManovy going absolutely ballistic on the bench, and this is really just down to determination. They've kept at it, they've worked, they've battled, but just look at Crittenden there. There's one block, and that's the important block that he wins against John O'Connor. Really, that's poor defending. You're looking for your centre-half to be strong there. And he wasn't, and Crittenden was more determined. I'll tell you what, he didn't have an awful lot to aim for, Rob. And he slotted it home superbly well. They may have been second-best. Now they're going at half-time the best. And another cup upset for Yeovil on the cards. Nick Crittenden getting the goal in injury time in the first half. And Blackpool paying the price for a series of missed opportunities. The Oval fans are lighting their flares already, preparing to celebrate what would be yet another famous victory, but it's by no means assured yet. And Yeovil Town have done it again. They've added another FA Cup famous name to their list of scalps. Their 20th league team dismissed from this competition and for the 13th time in their history they are in the third round of the FA Cup. Nick Crittenden the hero for Colin Addison and his club and now they have the opportunity to pull out a plum in the third round. Crittenden the former Chelsea man getting the goal in injury time in the first half and they showed stout hearts and brave resistance, none more so than was shown by their goalkeeper, Tony Pennock, to keep Blackpool at bay. But it really is a day of all-round heroism for the team at the top of the Vauxhall Conference and another memorable day for them to celebrate. Well, this is fantastic sight, isn't it, really? And I think that they've earned that. They've been organised, they've been committed, they've been determined, they had a good game plan. Blackpool tried their best. Steve McMahon's players gave him everything, but they couldn't conjure up that vital goal, and that's really what's cost them. Yeovil managed that, such an important time. The determination of Crittenden right on the half-time mark, and it was a wonderful finish from the tightest of angles, and they deserve that celebration. They can enjoy their evening. And this is about the magic of the FA Cup. This is about the enjoyment. This is about a non-league team coming to a league team and getting such a vital and incredible result. And they won't want to leave the pitch. They're enjoying every moment of this. A day of joy for Yeovil. And the goal that won it for them came right at the end of the first half. In injury time, it was a bitter pill for Blackpool to swallow. Nick Crittenden was the man who scored it. We talk about the romance of the FA Cup. Well, Yeovil must be the Barbara Cartlands of the competition because they've had so many romantic fairy tale victories, and this is the latest in a long, long line.